सहनावगतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर्यम करवावहै तेजस्विनावधि तमस्तुमा वित्विशावहै ओम शान्ति 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 ही ओम श्री गणेशाय नमः ओम श्री सरस्वत्ये नमः ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दोकशंक समस्तजनकल्याण निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विवर मूक कौति वाचा पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तम वंदे परमानंदमाधव परमानंदमाधव सर्वेदात सिद्धांत गोचर तम गोचर गोविंद परमानंदम सद्गु प्रणतस्म्यहम सो इन दिस सेक्शन ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ निर्विकल्प समाधि वी सॉ इन द लास्ट सेशन हाउ शंकराचार्य जी एक्सप्लेन्स टू अस the importance or why nirvikalpa samadhi is so much talked about we saw that the mind is able to transform itself create an entire world whether it is the world imagination the world of dream or the world of delusion the mind is able to do that because of its association with the sentient factor the self mind by itself doesn't have capacity to do it unless there is a sentient factor supporting it right but this entire world that is created of dvaita is because of mind alone without the presence of consciousness nothing can happen agreed but that doesn't mean consciousness is creating or consciousness is becoming all these things no mind alone is doing all these things and therefore this mo this mind modifying into various things prakrite he aham mukha ha deva deha avasana ha vishaya ha cha starting the this these modifications of of prakriti aham mukha ha starting from ego up to body so all the upadis if you take all of them are what all of them are creations of mind in presence of the self and how do you know that they are created by mind because they also have similar property of continuous change like the mind mind also changes continuously all these upadis also change continuously whereas the self doesn't change so they don't belong to the self they belong to the mind so the nature of self also bhagwan 
शंकराचार्य इज एक्सप्लेन वर्स नंबर थ्री फिफ्टी टू नित्यानंद अखंड चि चिदेक बुद्ध्यादिसाक्षी सदसद्विलक्षण अहम पद प्रत्यय लक्षितार्थ प्रत्यक सदानंद घन परात्मा इन द लास्ट सेशन एलैबरेटली वी हैव सीन द मीनिंग मीनिंग ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी वर्ड एंड हाउ इट इट ट्राइज टू एक्सप्लेन डिफरेंट फैसेट ऑफ द सेल्फ थ्रू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन वेदर इट इज सत आस्पेक्ट चित आस्पेक्ट आनंद आस्पेक्ट वेदर इट इज स्वरूप लक्षण तटस्थ लक्षण अतद्यावृत्ति लक्षण ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी हैव सीन हाउ हाउ द वर्ड्स आर इंडिकेटिंग द सेल्फ एंड देर फोर शंकराचार्य जी से इज अ पर्सन हू इज अ हू इज अ नॉलेजेबल पर्सन नाउ अ वाइज पर्सन वॉट डज ई डू सद असद विभज्य डिस्क्रिमिनेटिंग दिस रियल सेल्फ फ्रॉम द अनरियल प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ माइंड निजबोध दृष्टिया तत्व निश्चित एंड थ्रू द विजन ऑफ वन रियालिटी निजबोध थ्रू द through the vision of one's own knowledge tattvam nischitya of the reality establishing the reality swam atmanam akhanda bodham gnyatva realizing that infinite brahman to be one's own self tebhya vimuktah swayam eva shamyati being completely freed from all of them what those prakritehe vikaras the prakritehe vikaraha which was said being freed from all of them swayameva shamyati it becomes quiet he becomes quiet swayameva shamyati means he becomes peaceful now nothing more is there which mind can throw at that person that's what happens then how that happens when that happens that also verse we have seen verse number 354 adnyanardaya granthehe nishesha vilayas tada समाधिना अविकल्पेन यदा अद्वैतात्मदर्शन इट इज सेड यदा अद्वैतात्मदर्शन वेन अद्वैत आत्मदर्शन हैपन्स मीन्स वॉट वेन वन गेट्स द रियलाइजेशन ऑफ दट अद्वैतात्म नॉन ड्यूएल सेल्फ हाउ समाधिना अविकल्पेन थ्रू अविकल्प समाधि और निर्विकल्प समाधि वेन दैट हैपन्स देन वॉट तदा अज्ञानदय ग्रंथे निशेष विलय देन वॉट हैपन्स निशेष विलय विलय मीन्स डिस्ट्रक्शन एनिहिलेशन निशेष मीन्स विदउट एनी रिमेंडर द टोटल एनिहिलेशन ऑफ ऑल द नॉट्स ऑफ हार्ट विच आर एक्चुअली द नॉट्स क्रिएटेड बाय इग्नरेंस सी अज्ञान हृदय ग्रंथे लास्ट सेशन वी वर ऑल्सो डिस्कसिंग the word hridaya itself indicates a kind of not see not means what there are two things which are which are connected together is it that's what we call as not now in this hridaya what what kind of not is it rit ayam there are two things rit is the pure consciousness ayam is this this means this upadhi is not self so the self and not self are so to say connected see why we are saying so to say connected because actually not self is not there okay so there is no there are no two things which are actually connected it is as though they both are connected they both are tied what the self and the not self okay so rit ayam see similar thing is also there in the word chitta चित्त इज वॉट चित कॉन्शियसनेस प्लस त मीन्स द नॉट सेल्फ सो द माइंड इज वॉट रिफ्लेक्शन द माइंड इज द प्लेस वेर द रिफ्लेक्शन हैपन्स नॉट द प्युअर कॉन्शियसनेस प्युअर कॉन्शियसनेस इज चित चित्त इज माइंड ओके सो दिस नॉट ऑफ सेल्फ एंड नॉट सेल्फ इज ऑल्सो टोटली डिस्ट्रॉइड not is destroyed means what ignorance is destroyed ignorance is destroyed means what it is understood that i am the self and this body mind intellect is not self it is not me this is clearly experienced okay up to here we have seen now 
Shankaracharya continues the topic of importance of Nirvikalpa Samadhi. And few more verses are there. Very beautiful verses. Let us see. Verse number 355. Kalpana buddhi doshat. Prabhavati paramatman yadvaye nirvisheshe. Pravila sati samadha vasya sarvo vikalpaha. Vilaya namupagachet vastu tatva vadhritya. Tuamaham idamitiyam kalpana buddhi doshat prabhavati paramatman yadvaye nirvisheshe pravila sati samadhau asya sarvo vikalpaha vilaya namupagacche dvastu tattva vadhritya Beautiful verse. What he says? Tuam, you, aham, I, idam, this iti iyam kalpana buddhi doshat prabhavati <laughs> you i this so you second person i me first person idam this this is actually ideally second person only because it is in front but in english or in sanskrit grammar we say idam is third person so iti iyam kalpana this kind of thinking that you are different, I am different, this is different. Buddhi doshat prabhavati arises, prabhavati arises out of fault of the mind, defect of the mind. What is that fault? That fault is of delusion, ignorance. The mind being overpowered by rajas and tamas, that is what is creating this false feeling of I, you, this, etc. And where is this false feeling happening? Paramatmani advaye nirvisheshe. Saptami Bhakti, you see. In that Paramatma, in that Supreme Self, which is advaya, where there is no duality, where one alone is there, nirvisheshe. Nirvisheshe means that which does not have anything vishesha, anything special, anything separate, that which is homogeneous, one single mass of consciousness, non-dual, supreme self, in such self, suddenly this false feeling arises that you are there, I am there and this is there. In one, many are imagined. In one self, many, many individuals are imagined. Because of what? Buddhi doshat. Because of the defect of the mind. Now, this is what has happened. Nothing can be done about it now. It has happened like this. Now what? Pravilasati samadhu. Huh. When pravilasati, when it manifests, what? That Paramatma, that Supreme Self, when it manifests samadhau in samadhi, in meditation, when it manifests asya for this person, for this person who is now deluded because he is seeing many in the place of one, for such a person, when the self manifests in meditation, sarvaha vikalpaha vilayanam upagachet. All kinds of distinctions, vikalpaha, options, thoughts, modifications. All kinds of modifications, vilayanam upagachet. They attain dissolution, they become dissolved in that supreme self. When 
वस्तु तत्व अवधृत्या बाय वॉट बाय द अवधृति बाय द क्लियर एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ वस्तु तत्व दैट सुप्रीम रियालिटी सो वॉट इज ही सेइंग शंकराचार्य सेइंग इन दैट परमात्मा इन दैट सुप्रीम सेल्फ विच इज नॉन ड्यूएल एंड होमोजिनस सडनली दिस काइंड ऑफ फीलिंग अराइजेस दैट यू आर सेपरेट आई एम सेपरेट दिस इज सेपरेट how this feeling comes about buddhi dosha because of a defect of the mind because of a fault of delusion of ignorance in the mind now go in the reverse order in samadhi in meditation when for such a person for such a deluded person person now in samadhi when the self manifests itself then what happens vastu tattva avadritya because of the clear experience of the supreme reality of that self sarvah vikalpah all kinds of options all kinds of modifications all kinds of dualities vilayanam upagachet they are dissolved in our dream we see so many things yeah so many things are seen in my dream i see a beautiful temple also made up of stones and bell also is there and vigraha also is there and there are people also in the temple and there are some people sitting on the side and singing something with harmonium tabla and everything now what is all that i am seeing in that one self i am imagining so much of variety temple stones bell people instruments that they are playing all these different things are imagined in one mind i alone am there in the dream actually there 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 is nobody no other people are there so who is singing in my dream me only who is playing tabla me only is playing harmonium me only who is listening me only who is the vigraha me only who is the stone me only who is the bell me only but because of ignorance not knowing that i alone am there i suddenly see this variety now what happens when i get up when i get up sarvah vikalpah vilayanam upagachet Uh, all these differences all these modifications of mind the mind itself had modified into all these things that i was seeing in the dream and the mind itself was showing mind itself was seeing everything is the play of mind only but when i get up all these differences distinctions dualities modifications all of them are dissolved in that one mind in that one waker in the same way now in the waking state we are seeing so much of variety in the room that you are sitting there itself there is so much of variety isn't it so many things are there people also are there you are looking in the tv within the tv there are so many people some with videos on some with videos off some you can see some you cannot see isn't it maybe from according to us from different time zones why because they are from different countries you imagine what kind of power mind has mind has not only created small small things but mind has created intricate things all over the world it has created the borders it has created the uh, uh, countries and not only that we say i am originally from india but now settled in australia now settled in uk now settled in usa and then what then we start having our own history of each country and all see look at the vast variety that the mind has created but this variety is only created because of a fault <laughs> one fault of 
delusion now how to get up that is the question which everything we understand in the dream we see so much of variety but still when we are in the dream we get persecuted by all the things that happen in the dream and we become happy also sometimes but most of the times deadly dreams are there but luckily by god's grace we get up so how to get up from this dream that is the question isn't it that question has been there with us from long time it is true that how from dream we come back to waking and we understand that the entire dream world was not real and therefore the suffering of the dream was also not real now in the same way when we we will get up to that higher state of consciousness from this dream which we are calling as waking we will also understand that the problems that we are going through right now are also not real question is how will we get up to that higher state of consciousness and the answer is given here samadhi in those moments when our mind becomes so thin with the single thought of aham brahmasmi i am that brahman that the mind finally merges with that with that reality that is when we will get up and therefore samadhi is must the samadhi nirvikalpa samadhi is must for whom for whom that experience has not happened in shravana if that experience happens in shravana then no other step is required but since it has not happened therefore manna therefore nirdhyasana we are doing in the same line nirvikalpa samadhi is also required why because only in that state those what will happen that vikalpa which was which which is mentioned here those different different modifications of the mind will totally cease will be totally destroyed sarva vikalpa vilayanam upagacchet when will that happen samadho in meditation when asya pravilasati asya atma pravilasati its self for that person manifest swa ha vastu tattva avadritya by the clear vision by the clear experience realization of that supreme reality as one soul self when that happens then then what then all the modifications will end the variety will end the distinction will end the suffering will end okay now in the next verse shankaracharya ji explains what is this samadhi what is the cause of samadhi what is the effect of samadhi we have seen whenever there is an important point shankaracharya ji wants to emphasis he changes the meter to shardula vikridita to the longer meter that's what he does now also in this verse he has just explained to us that because of the rajas and tamas in mind we have fallen we have fallen into the world of plurality so to rise what we have to do we have to get rid of this rajas and tamas instill sattva and then go beyond it and have vishuddha sattva that's what we have to do in other words in other texts etc vidya maya is what we need to build which will take over or which will destroy the avidya maya that is what has to happen okay how how will it happen what are the things that i must have hmm? what is the effect of that samadhi explained in the next verse let us see verse number 356 shanto dantav param paratah शांतियुक्त समाधि कुर्वन्नित्यं कलयति यति स्वस्य सर्वात्म भावं तेना विद्यातिमिरजनितान साधु दग्ध्वा विकल्पान 
ब्रह्मा निवसति सुखम् निष्क्रियो निर्विकल्प शांतो दात परमुपरत शातियुक्त सामधि कुरवन्त्यम कलयति यति स्वस्य सर्वात्म भाव तेना विद्यातिरजनिता साधुदग्ध्वा विकल्पा ब्रह्मा निवसति सुखम निष्क्रियो निर्विकल्प ब्यूटिफुल what he says shantaha shantaha one who is calm dantaha one who is controlled param uparatah one who is totally withdrawn one who is totally withdrawn param uparatah uparatah means withdrawn param means completely totally kshanti yuktah one who is endowed with patience kshanti shanti kshanti shanti calmness kshanti kshanti is kshama 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 also many times we understand as forgiveness but in sanskrit kshama also means forbearance patience that's why the earth is called as kshama one name of earth is kshama kshama means one who stays there with patience so many of us are putting all our you know weight on the earth but earth remains patient for bears for bears goes through all the pain hmm? so such a person who is that yatihi see there is a word yatihi samadhim kurvan nityam kalayati yatihi for that yatihi all these are adjectives shantah dantah param uparatah kshanti yuktah yatihi yatihi seeker seeker who is having all these qualities now what what are these qualities these are the famous qualities of shamaadi shatka sampatti shantihi is shama dantihi is dama param uparatah is uparama kshanti istiti kshā and of course shraddha samadhan etc needs to be understood when four he is mentioning so remaining two we have to understand right such a person who is endowed with samādhi shatka sampatti i am not going to explain now what is samādhi shatka sampatti uh, lots of times we have seen such a person nityam samādhim kurvan such a person samādhim kurvan practicing meditation nityam always always practicing meditation practicing meditation means what see samadhim kurvan the word samadhi also we have seen earlier samyak adhanam well placing the mind is perfectly placed in the object of meditation that is called as samadhi the mind is placed in the object of meditation that is called samadhi nityam samadhim kurvan see what he is saying nityam means always always he is practicing this samadhi and what swasya sarvatma bhavam kalayati swasya of himself sarva atma bhavam kalayati he creates the feeling bhava of what sarva atma of his self being the self of all so the seeker who is endowed with samadhi shatka sampatti continuously all the time practicing meditation creates this experience of seeing one self of all see if all the words are clear from first line shanto dantah param uparatah kshanti yuktah samadhim kurvan nityam yatihi 
स्वस्य सर्वात्म भाव कलयती सो फार ओके नौ वाट तेन बाय दैट बाय दैट मीन्स बाय दैट समाधि और बाय दैट सर्वात्म भाव अविद्या तिमीर जनितान विकल्पान साधु दग्ध्वा विकल्पान विकल्पान मेनी मॉडिफिकेशन्स मेनी थॉट्स वॉट आर दे अविद्या तिमीर जनितान विच आर बॉर्न फ्रॉम द डार्कनेस ऑफ इग्नरन्स द थॉट्स दैट आर बॉर्न फ्रॉम द डार्कनेस ऑफ इग्नरन्स साधु दग्ध्वा बर्निंग देम वेल दग्ध्वा बर्निंग साधु दग्ध्वा बर्निंग देम वेल निष्क्रिय निर्विकल्प सन् ब्रह्मा कृत्या सुखम निवसती दैट्स द सेंटेन्स निष्क्रिय विदउट एनी एक्शन निर्विकल्प विदउट एनी थॉट मॉडिफिकेशन बीइंग सच ब्रह्मा कृत्या लाइक ब्रह्मन सुखम निवसती ही लिव्स ब्लिसफुली मीन्स वॉट ही लिव्स ब्लिसफुली एज ब्रह्मन सो वॉट इज शंकराचार्य सेंग हियर नंबर वन फॉर अस टू प्रैक्टिस समाधि the qualities that are must are samadhi shatka sampatti this is very important point which we have been seeing even when we had seen samadhi shatka sampatti as part of sadhana chatushtaya we had said that these are the six qualities which are very important for meditation and that's why they are clubbed together they are all connected with the mind and connected with the practice of meditation now at these higher stages of meditation these qualities become of prime importance so if we are able if we are not able to practice samadhi practice meditation what we should do we should strengthen these things shama whether my mind is under control dama whether my senses are under my control uparam whether i am naturally withdrawn or am i still interested in the world and that's why i am going into the world again and again titiksha do i have capacity to forbear do i have capacity to go through the pain without saying a single thing without creating a, any kind of disturbance am i able to go through the pain shraddha do i have that strong faith in vedanta in guru vachana in ishwara do i have that faith and finally do i have that necessary concentration which is required samadhanam that is what is called as samadhi also samadhanam samadhanam is samadhi so do i have that focus this is what we need to reflect upon if we are not able to practice meditation it must be because one of these things or more than one of these things are not with us so strengthen them they will directly help us in practice of meditation so using these as the means these are the causes for their right meditation now using this what i have to do i have to have samadhi i have to practice samadhi and most important word here also is nityam samadhim kurvan all the time don't ask for how much time but we just know morning only i did know why now again evening again i have to do don't be lazy all the time we have to do this doesn't mean all the time we have to sit in one place and close our eyes and do it no what whatever we are doing in and through all that continuously keep the mind occupied with brahman while listening while talking while walking while eating while sleeping at all times in all occasions in all circumstances let my mind remain in that brahman then why what will happen if i do like this if this, this kind of samadhi if i am practicing then what is the effect of that what is the result of that samadhi number 1 sarvatma bhavam kalayati you will be able to develop sarvatma bhava sarvatma bhava you will not see anything different from yourself this is the greatest vision that is possible what will happen once i get that sarvatma bhava 
तेन बाय दैट अविद्या तिमीर जनितान विकल्पान साधु तक्वा ऑल कैंड्स ऑफ ड्यूएलिटीज मॉडिफिकेशन थॉट्स ऑफ माइंड विल एंड एंड देन निष्क्रिय निर्विकल्प सन ब्रह्मा कृत्या सुखम निवसति देन यू विल लिव इन दैट ब्लिस the whole process of nirvikalpa samadhi the topic has started because the person has got the self knowledge but has not got the experience of bliss that experience of bliss will happen the jivan mukti anubhava will happen right brahma akritya nivasati he will remain as brahman but uh, we ji see i understand what you are saying but does he actually actually become brahman or like is 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 it is it a simile that like brahman he will also have bliss is it like that shankaracharya says i will explain that after two verses first let me focus on the effects of samadhi then i will tell you what happens to whether he is like brahman or he is brahman let us see next verse he explains how practice of samadhi is to be done and what are its effects <clears throat> 357 samahitaye pravilapya bahyam samahitaye pravilapya bahyam shrotra dichetas swamaham chidatmani shrotra dichetas swamaham chidatmani ta eva mukta bhava pasha bandhaihi नान्ये तु पारोक्षकथाधाइन सामिताये प्रविलाप्य बाह्यम श्रोत्रादिचेतस्वहम चिदात्मनी त एव मुक्ताशबंध नान्ये तु पारोक्षकथाधाइन he says who are the actually liberated people ye see the second line, second word of first line ye samahitah those who are united 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 in that meditation those who are always practicing meditation pravilapya having dissolved having dissolved what bahyam whatever is outside shrotradi the ears etc chetah mind swamaham and one's own ego these four things such a person that samahita that person has dissolved which are the four things that he has dissolved bahyam the outer objects the external objects shrotra adi all the organs are mentioned here by saying shrotra adi ears etc shrotram tok chakshu rasna granam iti panch jnanendriyani vang pani pad payu upastha iti panch karmendriyani all the jnanendriyas karmendriyas are mentioned by the shrotra adi chetah mind chetas mind swamaham and one's own ego having dissolved all these things where where is dissolving chidatmani pravilapya in that self which is of the nature of consciousness so that person or oh, no not that person those people ye plural is there those people who have united themselves in meditation and therefore have dissolved the external objects the senses the mind the ego in that supreme consciousness the self te eva muktaha they alone are liberated te eva becomes ta eva because of sandhi rule hmm? first te plus eva that a becomes ay h o y v a y a and then that y is dropped lopashakalya so ta eva is te eva they alone 
आर मुक्ता आर लिबरेटेड लिबरेटेड भवपाश बंद ही मुक्ता लिबरेटेड फ्रॉम वॉट लिबरेटेड फ्रॉम द बॉन्डेज बॉन्डेज ऑफ वॉट द स्नेयर्स ऑफ संसार स्नेयर स्नेयर मीन्स द चेन द पाश भव पाश बंद ही मुक्ता दे अलोन आर लिबरेटेड फ्रॉम द बॉन्डेज ऑफ स्नेयर्स ऑफ संसार न अन्य नॉट अदर्स हु हु आर दीज अदर्स तू हु हु आर शंकराचार्य से पारोक्ष कथा अभिधायीन अभिधायीन दोज हु आर एक्सप्लेनिंग एक्सपाउंडिंग डिस्कोर्सिंग अपॉन वॉट पारोक्ष कथा एक्सपीरियंसेस स्टोरीज ऑफ सम अदर पीपल वॉट इज दिस पारोक्ष कथा विवर है हाँ ई सेज यू माइट हैव अंडरस्टूड वेदांत करेक्टली यू माइट हैव स्टडीड नंबर ऑफ बुक्स एंड टेक्स एंड ट्रीटाइजेस एंड एवरीथिंग फाइन यू मे बी एक्सप्लेनिंग देम वेरी वेल बट स्टील यू आर नॉट लिबरेटेड अनलेस यू हैव डिजॉल्ड ऑल युअर ऑर्गन्स उपाधीज एक्सेट्रा इन टू दैट सुप्रीम सेल्फ Unless you have done that, who are you? You are paroksha katha abhidai. Means what? Means when we are explaining the 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 texts, what are we explaining? We are explaining the experience of some other person. Those nyanis in the seat of meditation, they have such experience. Have you got that experience? No. Then you are paroksha katha abhidai. Means people like me. शंकराचार्य जी से अन्य हेतु पारोक्ष कथा भी नहीं दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ अदर पीपल वाई बिकॉज दे देम सेल्व हैव नॉट गॉट द एक्सपीरियंस एंड देर फोर दे आर नॉट एट लिबरेटेड हु आर लिबरेटेड ओनली दोज पीपल हु हैव एक्चुअली डिजॉल्व ऑल द उपाधीज इन द इन द सुप्रीम सेल्फ एंड हैव एक्चुअली रियलाइज दैट सुप्रीम सेल्फ ओके सी हाउ ब्यूटिफुल ही सेज ये हाँ यू सी ये समाहिता बाह्यम श्रोत्रादि चेत स्वमहम चिदात्म प्रविलाप्य समाहिता बवती लाइक दैट यू टू से भवपाशबंद मुक्ता परो पारोक्षकथाधायन तो अन्य न नॉट दोज पीपल or only talking about the experiences of other people which means what unless we have dissolved even the final i thought into that supreme self unless we have ended the entire mind which creates all the kinds of thoughts unless we have done that we cannot be called as liberated just by discoursing upon some texts or by showing that you have got lot of knowledge liberation is not for such people hmm? that is what he says so actual experience is required and for that actual experience meditation is required if we really if we really see the difference between other sciences and spiritual sciences it is only meditation shravana is there in other sciences also manana is there in other sciences also nididhyasana is not there when i am studying physics also i need to study i need to listen from somebody else i need to reflect on that but i don't have to meditate on that physics you know i don't have to internalize the knowledge by saying that this is me i don't have to do that i don't i can't do that and the moment i am able to do that it becomes a spiritual science then that's why at the end of every subject spirituality starts <laughs> a great philosopher will always be a spiritual person a great scientist will slowly turn towards spirituality just the other day i was reading about some some french scientist who says that the that every time i speak about quantum physics i feel like i am talking about vedanta 
but he says this i have understood after 35 years of spending time on matter i have understood that there is no matter in that matter and i should focus on the spirit <laughs> so at the end of every subject spirituality will be there when when this meditation concept comes when the internalization happens when we understand that what i am seeking i am that is what i am so this meditation is what makes spiritual science a completely different science from all others and if we are not practicing that meditation then we are approaching vedanta like other subjects like we approach the physics chemistry mathematics etc like that we are approaching vedanta we are studying vedanta we are thinking about it understanding it teaching it but not internalizing that's what distinction shankaracharya ji creates here study vedanta not as any other subject but in order to internalize it unless you are able to do that don't stop don't stop that is what he says now what continues next to us 358 upadhi bhedat swayam eva bhidyate चोपाध्य पोहे स्वयम केवल तस्मादुपाधेर्लया विद्वान् वसेत् सदा कल्प सधिष्ठया उपाधि भेदा स्वयम भिद्यते चोहे स्वयम केवल तस्मादुपाधेर्लया विद्वान् वसेत् सदा कल्प सधिष्ठया हाँ पोहे एट्सेट्रा इज नॉट देर ओके उपाधिभेदा उपाधिभेदा स्वयम भिद्यते च उपाधि अपोहे अपोह अपोह मीन्स रिमूवल उपाधि अपोहे सती सप्तमी विभक्ति स्वयम केवल तस्मा उपाधे विलयाय विद्वान् सदा अकल्प सधिष्ठया वसेत दैट्स वाई वी मस्ट स्टडी संस्कृत अदरवाइज डिफरेंट मीनिंग्स विल कम आउट ऑफ द सेम वर्स विच आर रॉन्ग वॉट इज करेक्ट मीनिंग उपाधि भेदा स्वयम भिद्यते बाय फोकसिंग ऑन द डिस्टिंगशन इन द कंडीशनिंग इन द उपाधि द सेल्फ अपियर्स टू बी भिद्यते डिफरेंट ड्यू टू डिस्टिंगशन इन कंडीशनिंग द सेल्फ अपियर्स टू बी डिफरेंट सो आई हैव डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ उपाधि आई एम डिफरेंट फ्रॉम यू हु हैज डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ उपाधि the distinction happens on the basis of differences in the upadis not on the basis of the self but the self appears to be different because of the differences in upadis cha and upadhi apohe when you take out these upadis when you remove these upadis dissolve these upadis then what swayam eva kevala the self remains kevala kevala means without any distinction immutable kevala word so many times we have seen kevala word when it comes in vedanta what we mean ha huh. sajatiya vijatiya swagata bheda rahitah desha kala vastu aparichinnah kevala the self alone remains self alone remains means what self remains without any distinction without any limitation no distinction of sajatiya vijatiya or vigata bheda no limitation of space time object so by considering myself to be the upadhi is because of the distinctions in upadhi is i feel that i am different you are different he is different she is different they are different when i understand that the upadhis are actually not there 
when i dissolve all these upadis in the self then the self alone remains without any distinction without any limitations tasmat therefore since this point is very clear to us we have seen it so many times therefore upadhehe vilayaya in order to dissolve the upadis the conditionings for dissolving the conditionings vidwan a wise person a truly wise person who has got the tattva jnana sada akalpa samadhi nishthaya vaset he always remains sada vaset like uh, sada vaset where akalpa samadhi nishthaya with nishtha with abidance in akalpa samadhi akalpa samadhi nirvikalpa samadhi vikalpa akalpa okay vikalpa means many thoughts akalpa means no thoughts opposites vikalpa and akalpa so savikalpa samadhi the opposite is nirvikalpa samadhi without any thought without any modification without any distinction without any duality so a person who understands this fact will always try to remain in that nirvikalpa samadhi will always try to establish oneself in that nirvikalpa samadhi and when that person does that what happens already explained in verse number 356 sarvatma bhava he develops he destroys all the modifications created by ignorance and he remains blissful as brahman okay that is what happens now shankaracharya says let me take that question what is the person like brahman or is the person brahman because brahma kritya was said akritya as brahman now as brahman can have two meanings like or as it is so what is that next verse and the next verse 359 and 360 shankaracharya ji explains how that person is brahman not like brahman sati sakto naro yati सद्भावेकटको भ्रमर ध्यान भ्रमरवाय कलते सती सक्त नरो याति सद्भावेक कीटको भ्रमर ध्यान भ्रमरवाय कलते ब्यूटिफुल वर्ड आई आई रियली समटाइम्स नो नॉट समटाइम्स मेनी टाइम्स आई वंडर हाउ शंकराचार्य फाइंड्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ एक्सप्लेनिंग द सेम थिंग विथ डिफरेंट वर्ड्स नाउ हियर यू सी द फर्स्ट लाइन सती सप्त नर नो जनरली द वर्ड सती वी यूज इन सती सप्तमी प्रयोग एट्सेट्रा नो हियर सत् is that existence and sati sakta narah a person who is attached to that reality sati sakta one who is attached to that reality that's what he is saying here sati sakta narah sadbhavam yati the person who is attached to reality becomes reality sadbhavam yati becomes sat why because he is attached to sat how he ekanishthaya because of his single pointed abidance so he is so much focused on sat he is so much abiding in sat that he becomes sat who sati saptah narah a person who is attached to reality like what of course the example has to come कीटक भ्रमर ध्यान भ्रमरवाय कलते कीटक कीटक मीन अ वर्म भ्रमर ध्यान कॉन्टेम्प्लेटिंग ऑन अ वास्प अ बी और अ वास्प भ्रमरवाय कलते बिकम्स अ वास्प 
now this is a very interesting phenomenon that uh, i learned only when i came to vedanta i didn't know otherwise this concept at all but the similar example is there in atma bodha also jivan muktastu tad vidwan purvo padhi gunans tejet sasachidadi dharmatvam bheje bhramara kitavat that example had come in atma bodha also those who have studied it is there in other texts also shankaracharya likes this example aparokshanubhuti also another text he explains bhavitam teevra vegena vastu yan nischayatmana pumam staddhi bhavet shigram gneyam bhramara kitavat so bhramara kitavat same example so the example is what i don't remember whether we have seen this example before in this class i don't remember we might have but no po- no problem in explaining it again so the phenomenon is like this it is said that a, a wasp wasp who is able to fly identifies a keeta keeta is a worm who crawls on the ground who is such a small thing and that wasp catches this worm and puts it in a kind of hole inside a hole that wasp puts the worm and at the entry of that hole the wasp sits and every now and then the wasp stings this worm so the worm it is said there is nowhere else to go there is such a small hole where that worm is there and at the gate this wasp is sitting so it is that worm keeps looking at that wasp completely terrified why because the moment it starts to move a bit the wasp stings it is said that so focus that worm is on the wasp and of course because of the sting eventually that worm becomes the wasp this is a natural phenomenon i had not known before coming to vedanta thanks to shankaracharya only he brought this concept then i i i went on asking few people about it and then say they said yeah it happens like that so the worm who is able to only crawl on the ground who can come in anybody's under anybody's feet suddenly becomes capable of flying why through the single pointed focus kitakah bhramaram dhyayan the worm continuously thinking about that wasp bhramaratvaya kalpate becomes the wasp how how this transformation takes place next verse explains that verse number 360 same example is continued in the next verse let us see let us see kriyantara saktim apasya kitakah ध्यान अलिवृति तथा योगी परमात्म तत्व ध्यावाति तदेक निष्ठया क्रियाशक्तिमश्य कीटक ध्यान अलिवृति तथा योगी परमात्म तत्व ध्यावा सामयाति तदेक निष्ठया वेरी वेरी सिंपल संस्कृत वेरी हाई फिलॉसफी व्हाट इज से क्रिया अंतरा आसक्ति अपाश्य apasya giving up asaktim giving up the attachment to what antara kriya other activities giving up attachment to other activities means what giving up all other activities kitakah kitakah the worm alitvam dhyayan <laughs> continuously contemplating on that wasp अलिभाव ऋक्षति 
attains, gains the nature of that wasp. That worm giving up all other actions is focused so much on that wasp that eventually it becomes that wasp. Tatha eva, in the same way, yogi, this seeker, paramatma tattvam dhyatva, contemplating, meditating on that supreme self, tadekanishthaya, by that single pointed abidance, by that nirvikalpa samadhi, samayati, it attains that nature. It becomes, he becomes Brahman. He becomes Brahman. Not like Brahman. Not a mirror image of Brahman. Not some aspects of Brahman. But becomes Brahman. Now again here, becomes Brahman means what? He is already Brahman. But he regains his true nature. That is what happens. See, this is true for anything that we do in our life. You must have observed also in your own life, sometimes when we idolize somebody and when we are too totally focused on them, we start to talk like that person, we start to walk like that person, we start to think like that person. It happens, it automatically happens. Our words change. We start using the words which that person uses. Isn't it? It happens with everybody. Cricketers idolizing other cricketers start to act like them. Their stance changes. Their way of playing changes. Why? Because so much focus is there. It happens with, it happens with everybody in everything. Now it happens with everybody in everything. How will it not happen with Brahman? If you are totally giving up all other activities and continuously, continuously reflecting on the nature of Brahman, you will become Brahman. So just as alitvam dhyayan alibhavam ruchati kitakaha, just as a, a worm continuously contemplating on the nature of the wasp becomes the wasp, gains that nature of wasp, then tatha eva yogi paramatma tattvam dhyatva tad ekanishthaya Samayati. Or you can say Tat Samayati. Ekanishtaya you can separate and you can say Tat Samayati. Tat Samayati attains that, attains that Brahman. Attains that Paramatma Tattvam. Ekanishtaya. By Ekanishtha. Ekanishtha here is indicative of Nirvikalpa Samadhi. Ekanishtha, single pointed attention, single pointed focus, single pointed abidance. So through Nirvikalpa Samadhi, this person who is contemplating continuously on Brahman becomes Brahman, realizes his oneness with that Brahman. Veji then, then nothing. Over, done. You can keep your pen down, you can close your laptop, job is done. Why? For this only, we had put all our efforts to reach this state, which is not possible unless nirvikalpa samadhi, nirvikalpa samadhi, we become one with that. Once that happens, done. Done. Okay. So, these six verses are in one flow explaining the importance of samadhi, where Shankaracharya explained that how that samadhi, what does it create, what does it result into that sarvatma bhava, etc. And for that, unless that nirvikalpa samadhi practice happens, liberation is not possible. Otherwise, it will just remain like a, some intellectual understanding. And to internalize is most important, right? Once you internalize it, contemplating on Brahman, you will realize your oneness with Brahman. Okay. Now in the next verse onwards, another way of explaining why Nirvikalpa Samadhi is important. The last way of thought in this topic. We will see in the next session. 
सफिशियंट फॉर टूडे चलो ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णात् पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं